It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by ConsensusPicks.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll be looking at Hewlett Packard. The stock is down more than 75% since 2010. Is it now a good value? Or is HP a good looking long term short sale on its way to zero? We'll examine each of these possibilities this week. So without further ado, let's begin. Carly Fiorina is one of the most famous or really the, one of the most infamous CEOs of the tech boom era. Unfortunately, she was known more for her gender and her boldness than her actual ability at the helm of a major corporation. She oversaw HP's acquisition of Compaq in 2002, after which HP lost half of its market value. That eventually led to Ms. Fiorina getting canned, and she later went on to be the Republican Party's nominee for U.S. Senate in California. She lost. HP's next CEO was Mark Hurd, who took the helm in 2005. He made a series of business blunders before resigning in disgrace following a sexual harassment scandal in 2010. During his tenure, Mark Hurd saw economies of scale, making everything bigger, more commodified, in order to achieve greater efficiency and greater profits at lower prices. This didn't work. Additionally, he oversaw the acquisition of Palm. Remember Palm Pilots? That didn't work either. Now HP CEO is Meg Whitman. Ms. Whitman was the former CEO of eBay, which she grew from a bootstrapping startup to a revolutionary force in the world of commerce. At one point in time, she was the richest self-made woman in the entire world. Uh, Whitman's acumen for growing startups into legitimate Fortune 500 firms is unquestionable. But how is she at managing an already established Fortune 100 type of firm? She wasn't as successful at eBay once eBay had achieved a level of maturity, and there are reasons to doubt her abilities at HP. Oh, and coincidentally, Whitman, like Fiorina, ran as a Republican candidate for statewide office in California. And like Fiorina, she lost. Now Ms. Whitman says that HP's profits will follow a hockey stick formation. They will continue to go down for two or three years, and then they will begin to rise. Her reasoning for why this is the case is not strong, though. Whitman blames HP's woes on CEO turnover. The truth is that HP has had a bunch of bad CEOs. Firing them wasn't the problem, hiring them was. Carly Fiorina may have signed the firm's death warrant a decade ago with the disastrous compact acquisition, but Mark Hurd piled on with his efforts to transform HP into a commodity business, taking it away from its core strengths. Then the next CEO, Leo Apothecker, wanted to transform HP with a long-term strategy that sacrificed current profitability. He lasted a year, and then Whitman was brought in. She might have once been the richest self-made woman in the world, but boy oh boy has she inherited a mess here. Whitman abandoned Apothecker's strategy and began focusing on immediate profitability. But the fact is that HP has just too much working against it. The computer business is now a commodity one, and HP's efforts to differentiate are too little too late in a smartphone world. Will it chase the smartphone market? It's a little late to get into that race. How about adding new features to printers? No, paper is on the way out and smartphones can take pictures and make scans. And while HP is launching a Windows 8 tablet, this seems to be a match made in heaven of the late 90s, Microsoft and HP, not in today's tech world dominated by Amazon, Apple, and Google. HP is trying to be the next IBM, another once great technology company that's products became commodified as it fell behind, to companies like HP, when the personal computer burst on the technology scene. HP, of course, has fallen behind the times with the move into mobile devices leaving PCs and laptops in the dust. Instead, HP is now focused on services and servers, but it has a lot of competition from superior operators, Cisco, Oracle, Dell, and of course IBM. Ultimately, HP is a company with lots of so-so parts that just don't mesh very well. It's going to take a radical transformation for HP to become a type of company that's worth investing in, and that's only going to happen after it has lost even more of its market value. HP is trading in the $14 to $15 range, around half of its 52-week high of $30, which it hit on February 17. Earnings per share were down 9% last quarter, bringing the firm's three-quarter average to negative 20% per quarter. For the year, earnings are expected to be down by 17%. Sales have grown at just 3% per year for the past three years and were down 5% last quarter. I think HP is a good short sale at any price between $13.50 and $15. I'll set my first target at minus 8%, where I'll cover half of my position. 
I'll use a rolling stop loss of plus 8%, starting with my entry price, and then moving lower once I hit my first target, and thereafter every time the stock hits a new low. This could be a long-term play, with the second half not cashing out for months or even years. That's the goal. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Consensus Picks. Each week, Wealthbuyer's Consensus Picks software scours through 800 plus financial sources to produce a short list of multi verified stocks. Stocks chosen by more than one of the most accurate stock picking services. Then the Consensus Pick software automatically analyzes the short list of stocks using a series of proprietary filters and it picks the single best stock out of the bunch. The Consensus Pick. Sign up today for Consensus Picks and each week you'll be provided with the ultimate alert, a stock that's been independently selected by multiple stock picking resources. A true Consensus Pick. Visit ConsensusPicks.com to sign up today. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.